Joe, man, you're taking a situation right now that it was really not about you. You're making it practically all about you. You're uh, playing the victim card harder than just about any butthurt SJW I've ever seen. And I think this really hits the nail on the head as to why the majority of people that you were friends with, uh, you know, last year and for the past few years here on YouTube, think that you're a jerk now, man. Uh, it, it really does. And for those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, there is a guy named The Quiet Atheist. He, uh, his, his real name is John, and he got into an accident. Thankfully, he's okay. His son and his niece was with him. They're okay, too. But, you know, he needs to replace a car, and he's trying to raise $5,000 right now. And so basically, CeCe tweeted about all this, and Joe very quickly chimed in, and this whole back and forth ensued between he and John. Now, I'm going to show those in a moment, and I'll also show some PMs between Joe and I discussing all of this. But basically, uh, you know, I, I think, Joe, dude, you, you put the guy through the ringer. You're trying to make this seem like you were being the nice guy. That is a joke. And this is a very important point here. This is basically like my overarching point. You try and make it seem like the main problem that people have with you is that you were being skeptical to begin with. When that's not really the problem, Joe. The problem is that you didn't really care about the impact that having this like drawn out conversation with John could have on his efforts to raise money. It should have been done in private. Now, as we look at these tweets, ask yourself, why did this have to be public? If Joe was concerned about figuring out whether or not John was running a scam, why not private message him rather than challenging him in public and leaving this long series of messages that would probably scare most people away and sabotage efforts to raise the money John needs? They had been friends for the better part of five years, so they did have the rapport in order to do that. So uh, this first tweet is probably the most innocuous out of the bunch. Is there a video with his injuries and his wrecked car? I'd be willing to help with a little more evidence. So I'm not going to read all of these, but you can read them yourself if you want. These are uh, John's explanations. Just talking about how his injuries were minor and they're almost gone. Don't take the timestamps uh, at their word because they were snapped at different times just letting you guys know that so there were a bunch of back and forths but i think it's at this point right here that things get truly ridiculous but um yeah right here is where it really kicks into high gear joe says i feel bad for you but some evidence would be nice for a future campaign i do help out often with many and john says here is the dangling license plate run it and connect it to me now this really should have been enough for joe because anyone could run this license plate anyone could Take this time, take the time to do that and figure out that if the, he was bullshitting that, he, you know, that this was all a ruse and the whole thing would unravel. That's just two plus two equals four. So Joe says, I don't have the means. You certainly did. You had a computer, you had internet, so you could prove it. And he also says, not up to me to prove. John says, anybody can do this on the internet. And Joe says, I don't have to prove it. You do. Link your findings. Now, Joe, at this point, you're really making him jump through hoops. You're busting his balls. And to a lot of people who would look at all of this, you know, they would read what you're saying as total doubt, as total incredulity, especially these tweets right here where you and your friend are casting doubt on his claims about his burns and also his claims about his insurance. And mind you, this is after he had posted a video with his insurance claim number. And I think your attitude is kind of like, hey, I was doing him a favor by trying to push him to add more evidence for his claims. Well, if that is a concern and you really care about him making money, then it would have been the easiest thing in the goddamn world to just PM him about it. And yeah, I know, Joe, that you uh, say that you thought you were being perfectly nice and that you did not intend to give the impression that you thought that he was lying, but people aren't mind readers. It is entirely reasonable for people to take a look at those tweets and think that that was what was going on in your mind. And if they did, they very well might steer clear of the whole thing for that reason. So if you have nothing to hide, you made a video with no evidence, you covered up your tag plate, right? Anybody could do this. I can see I was in a car accident and post a picture of the license plate covered. Okay, John, right? 
Anybody can do this. And also, anyone can send a private message. It seems like a pretty common fucking sense courtesy to pay someone that you've been friends with for five years, who is in a situation like this, who is undergoing this sort of stress, and does not need any other impediments to them raising money. And by the way, I didn't watch all of his videos, but I do know that in two of his videos, plates did happen to be in the thumbnail. It's a very simple request, but now you're gonna take it to heart. Creationist Cat is gonna take it to heart. Okay, well, let's take a look at these PMs, Joe, and really assess who took things to heart. Now, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I can't really do a very good Creationist Cat impression, so I'm just going to talk the way that I normally do. So prior to what I'm about to show you, Creationist Cat said, Dish is embarrassing. Can't believe you would talk like Dish in public. PM him if you're gonna do that. So not cool. So uh, CC says, I hope you will take down those tweets, Joe. There is no reason to cast potential doubt to others that might help out, but don't know him well. Please don't let any problems you and I have cloud your judgment. The guy is in a bind, and why would we want any little thing like some negative tweets stand in the way of him getting the help that he deserves? To which Joe says, fuck off, man. I'm making a video and do plan on helping him out. How much did you give him, Vadim? How much? Fuck off. Anyone can post pictures and claim anything. I ask nicely. He gives it, I donate, and help promote it. I take words with a grain of salt until proven otherwise. Fuck off, Vadim! So, who seems to be taking things to heart here? Um, really, you know, and I won't read the entire thing, but if you look at these two pages, you'll see that really all I'm hammering here is just the point that he should have done this privately rather than publicly. And I do want to answer this. Joe asks, do you think it was justified him making a video assuming my position? Joe, without going into it too much, you are no stranger to making videos in which you assume other people's positions. And if there's ever a time where something like that would be justified, it would be now when you were making all these tweets that did that, that did seem very accusatory in a public forum that you easily could have done privately. And I asked you twice, man, at the top of this page and towards the bottom to explain why that was the better way of doing things. Why do it publicly when you could easily PM him? And you say, yes, I did. Can't help if you can't read. I'm done here. Goodbye. And I just want to challenge anyone to look through those two pages and find where he actually explains why that was the superior way of doing things. I'll tell you, it's not there. But one point I would like to bring up here at the end. Creationist Cat, I asked him, did you donate? Did you donate on the GoFundMe? He said, yeah, I donated 20 bucks. Where did you donate that 20 bucks? It sure wasn't on the GoFundMe page, was it now, Vadim? Because I don't see your name on there. There's only six people that have donated so far. I don't see your $20 on there. Where's it at? Where's it at, Vadim? Oh my God! Joe has cracked the fucking case! I am so... Oh, I am just insanely embarrassed right now. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to show my face again on the fucking internet. Uh, I, except no. Um, I actually did give the money through PayPal, dude. I give the money through PayPal. That's why you don't see it there. But you didn't think about that. Mr., uh, you know, skeptic. A little error in your logic there. Um, yeah, I, I gave it through those means because basically it was easier for me. And on top of that, there's no middleman. So they don't take a, uh, a cut out of it. It's It works much better that way. So, uh, yeah, that's the answer to your question right there. Mr. Jerkface. And I actually did tell you this within the comments of your video, and your response to that was, why not give him $20 on GoFindMe so your followers can see how much of a nice guy you are, right? Um, well, Joe, that's because I really don't give a fuck about broadcasting, whether or not I am a nice guy. That seems to be something that you're more concerned with broadcasting to the world, Joe. But are you a nice guy, Joe? Are you a nice guy inside of this situation? Because, you know, the way that I see it, you made a video and you take someone who was actually a victim and you played the victim inside the entire video talking about how you were demonized when you really just received the proper response for someone who was being a dick. 
You virtue, virtue signaled your generosity like it was the fucking bat signal in that video, dude. And hey, look, it's great to give people money, don't get me wrong, but what is this bullshit about giving $50 and holding out on another $250 for an apology? Who does that? You know, you're basically making them pay a butthurt tax. That's what you're doing, Joe. And, you know, fuck, man. I mean, it's just such an emotionally manipulative thing to do to someone in that situation because obviously the temptation is there to swallow his pride and give you an insincere apology just so he could survive fucking hanging that over his head and look I'll tell you who the real nice guy here is Joe it's the quiet atheist and that's one of the craziest things about this people who know him without exaggeration think of him as being one of the kindest and most earnest people in this whole community and that is no exaggeration you take this genuine, soft-spoken, super nice guy, and you make him seem like a fucking possible Jenny McDermott here, you know, and your viewers don't know who he is at all, and now they think he's an asshole. How nice is that? How nice is it that you made a video where you played the victim, he's the one who's left high and dry, walking two miles in the Texas heat to pick up his son, but, you know, I really have to bring up here something that else that I think is funny, which is... You know, when you publicly choose to be a Mr. Skeptic and when you don't. Because back when we were friends, long, long time ago in a galaxy really fucking far away, there was that time when CC got a strike and you were convinced Vigilant Christian Mario was responsible. And, and he wasn't. You were like, it has to be him, bro. Uh, also, when AIU got a strike and he blamed me for it, he had no problem blaming me for it without a lick of evidence. Uh, and like TJ said, you, you bought him a computer when you barely knew the guy. Where was the proof that he wasn't pulling a scam, man? Doesn't seem like, you know, your standard of evidence was that high then. But then along comes John, a guy who clearly deserves the benefit of the doubt, at least enough to give him the courtesy of private messaging your concerns, rather than just tweeting them out. And instead, you made all these public tweets, and you make this video making him out to be a dick, when you were the dick. And the fact that you asked your audience to donate to him. I mean, what a useless fucking gesture. Look at what they're saying about him, man. They, they disdain him because of how you framed all of this. this. That's not his fault. That's how you have framed the situation. Look at these comments, man. Does this look like you helped? Does it look like you did a good thing here, dude? No. I mean, it, 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 you know, they're saying, fuck this guy. Some of them are saying he's a liar. They think you're Mahatma Gandhi. But he's pretty much thought of as a piece of shit now by these people. And you, then you just throw $50 at his feet and claim that you're being the nice guy. You're fucking crazy, Joe. You're an asshole. So, uh, congrats, Joe. You know, you finally got that video that you've been wanting me to make for you. Uh, I have no doubt that if you respond to this, you're going to throw in a whole bunch of red herring bullshit that has nothing to do with this situation, and I'm just going to preemptively say that it's all bullshit. So, uh, look, anyone who's watching this, John is a really, really good guy. He deserves a helping hand right now. His GoFundMe is down below. Oh, and finally, Joe, uh, in regards to the $20 that I gave to John's PayPal, since I know that you're Mr. Let's See the Evidence, I thought maybe you might want to see some. So uh, let's see if I can bring that up here. Oh, here we are.